Hello. So show of hands, how many of us drink coffee? Maybe tea? Okay, so lots of us. So chances are you have that favorite mug to drink from. Maybe it's magical because it makes you smile when you use it or the de design is funny. Or maybe the handle feels super good. Maybe it fits your personality. But I bet that mug also has a story. In fact, if we were sitting in your kitchen right now and we opened the cupboard, I bet you could pick out one or two mugs. And I bet you could tell me a story about them. It seems obvious to me now, but I didn't discover this until I did my Mugshot Monday project. I'd like to tell you about my project, and by the end of my talk, I hope you never look at a coffee mug the same way again. So what is this Mugshot Monday project? When I started my project, the idea was simple. What if I post something every week? Something with a theme, maybe. I have a lot of coffee mugs, and I drink coffee all the time. What if I posted a picture of myself holding a unique coffee mug in front of my mug every Monday? And I call it Mugshot Monday. I started posting, but I didn't really do the math. That's 52 mugshots if I want to do it for a year. I ran out at week 33. <laughs> but I remembered some old mugs from college. I found the box, and there was that old Pizza Hut coffee mug. It belonged to my girlfriend in college. She had a coffee maker in her dorm room, and we'd talk after classes drinking coffee. That plastic mug brought back so many good memories. <laughs> We're married now, we have three kids, and we still talk all the time over coffee. When I posted that mugshot, I felt like I had to tell people, why would I have this crappy little Pizza Hut coffee mug? I discovered that every mug had a story. So I forgot to mention, the first mugshot Monday I posted was about eight years ago, and I can't seem to quit it. At first, there weren't stories. I just mentioned the mug I was drinking and the coffee I was, oh, sorry, the coffee I was drinking from and the mug I was drinking the other way around. But now with the added stories, I look forward to it every Monday. And I've posted 383 Mugshot Mondays. That's not every week. I've missed some, but that's okay. There are only two duplicates. And that's a lot of mugs. <laughs> so this is a picture of me in about 20 years. But seriously, People ask me questions. How many mugs do you own? Did you invent Mugshot Monday? Where do you keep all those mugs? Is your wife okay with this? <laughs> so let's talk about Mugshot Monday. Did I invent it? Yes, I did. But so did hundreds of other people. This is a thing now on Instagram, and I love it. There's artists posting their mugs, and I've even started buying some of them and telling their stories. I've made some mugs too, like my Shark Hat Rubber Ducky mug on the left. And I made that tumbler in ceramics class when I studied abroad in Japan. I was terrible at handles. Uh, that's kanji. It means front, because you don't know where the front is. <laughs> the most common mug with a story is a souvenir mug from a trip or family vacation. Uh, we took the family to Snow Mountain Ranch in Colorado, and we stayed in a yurt. We went to the Boxcar Roasters in Boulder. Uh, my Twitter handle is Big Boxcar, so I was super curious uh, about what that was all about. I don't really dress up for these mug shots, but I tell you, if, Monday, if, if Halloween lands on a Monday, I'll be Iron Man. I'll wear a taco costume all day. But that Kylo Ren, that Kylo Ren uh, mug shot, that's uh, the first time I ever got to see a new Star Wars movie with my kids in the theater, which was awesome. I love cabin mugs. So these are the misfit mugs that get demoted from your kitchen at home. <laughs> they wind up at the cabin, but what's cool is they end up like having the stories uh, from the good times at the cabin. I like to feature causes. If you don't know Nora McKerney, look her up. She's an amazing person. I met Nora back in 2010 by accident. She photobombed my mugshot Monday that I was taking at Wild Rose. She started a nonprofit called Still Kickin'. Please consider buying one of their mugs. Other people got into my mugshots too. I think some of them are here tonight. For these mugshots, the meetup and the people was the story, but the mug tethered it all together. The coffee is also very important in the mugshots, and Peace Coffee has been my, in my mug most often. So full disclosure, back in 2009, they sent me a free mug and some free coffee, and I've loved the coffee and the company ever since. <laughs> but sometimes I'm not drinking coffee in the mugshot. Sometimes it's coffee bender. Am I drinking it's early tonight? Okay, I'm going to join you in about 30 seconds, but uh, listen, I wanted an Ignite mug for my collection, but none existed, so I made one. Maybe someday a friend will see this mug in my cupboard. 
and say, hey, Ignite, what is this? And I'll never forget being right here with all of you. And I'll pour some coffee in that mug, and I'll say to my friend, well, let me tell you a story. Thank you.